Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and this video will learn how we can create executable to launch our YPath processes from the desktop. So we will learn two different methods to do it. So first, just create a simple process like this one on YPath Studio and then open the notepad and here we will insert a command that will execute our process and we will save this file as a script so we can then execute the file and the file will execute the command that will launch our process. So first we need to get the path to our YPath robot, to the agent that executes the process. So let's just open here the file explorer and here on my PC let's paste the following path, you just need to change here the username that you have on your computer and now if we go to the bottom we can see the Y robot so we need to get the path to this executable so let's click on it let's copy the path let's paste it here and then let's add here dash file and now we need to paste the path to the project that we want to execute from the executable so let's get the path to the main file so we need to get to the main file where we can launch the process so let's select the main file let's copy the path and let's paste here on our notepad so now let's save and now very important we need to save our file as a bath file so here for example let's add hello world dot bat so it's very important to add this extension so we can see here our executable so let's try to see if it's working and as we can see our executable executed our YPath process so this is the first method now let's learn the second one that it's more easier so here on YPath Assistant, let's open it. So here will appear processes that you have published to YPath Orchestrator. If you don't have one published and you want to learn how to do it, I'll leave here on the top a link to a tutorial where we can learn how to do it. So now you can see here that I have one process. Uh, so here to create executable from YPath Assistant, we just need to click here on the three dots. And now let's choose the option send to desktop. So this option will generate executable file. So we can see here the executable file and from here we can launch our process. So let's try it. And as we can see, we started the process from our executable generated from the YPath Assistant. So, if you like this video, smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more YPath tutorials. So now, I'll see you so on the next tutorial.